please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon for the future notification to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends thank you so much for your love and support so let's quickly start with the markings we need to give the flower markings like this it's a free hand pattern so i have to mark five petals flower like this if you're not comfortable directly marking like this mark it on the paper then transform it on the fabric using the carbon paper or any tracing paper extending the design further with the expansion of leaves like this it could be three leaves or five leaves depending upon the fabric and the requirement you can customize the design And now I'll be using antique bronze zardoza string. This is of very small size, and here I'll be using cotton silk thread nine number hemming needle for the stitching of zardoza. And firstly, the circle will be elaborated with the zardoza string and giving an invisible stitches on it. As this was the pattern of thread work design, I will be using anchor thread which is of yellow color and this is of 12 strands I will be using. You can use any types of silk threads, embroidering threads for this designing and here I will be giving French knots in the center of this circle. Here I will be using 12 strands to give the much more volume and as this is the thread work pattern, the volume has to be maximized so I will be using 12 strands. It's up to you. You can use 10 strands, 8 strands or you can go up to 15 strands as per your requirement the complete filling will be done with the French knots further extending this design using this 12 strands and also using the sequence to create the petals these are antique gold sequins of very small size and here I'd be using long French knot stitch with the joining of this sequence just inserting in the needle with the French knot. So each petal will have three lines of long French knot like this with the sequence. The line which I mark is only for the reference. So ensure all the three lines will have the same size. This is how each petal has to be created with three lines for the filling. The materials which I have used for this designing is easily available in the fancy stores, tailoring material shops or also the links has been provided in the description box for your convenience. Please check out. And once completed the flower would look like this. Further extending this with the leaf work, the center line will be stitched with the thread work. So only the center line of the leaf with this line stitch and for the leaf border creating here I'd be using antique sugar beads this is how it looks it's something like the bronze color and inserting in the needle like this at a time one side will stitch lighter will stitch to another side so inserting 10 to 12 beads at a time and giving an invisible stitches on it to secure and to keep it in place like this we have to give an invisible stitches on it Now this one side has done, I will be giving the same joining of beads to another side to complete this leaf border and here I will be showing only 3 leaves on both the sides but you can also extend this design with the 5 leaves. This is how each of the leaf has to be created with this sugar beads.
end of the stem work will be extended with this zarthusi string i cut accordingly of this size and just inserting in the needle giving the stitches for the joining and once completed the flower with the leaf work would look like this the completed pattern of the blouse would look like this hope sharing of this idea is useful to you if you like it please hit the like icon to support my efforts also do share this video in your community or circles may be useful to others thank you so much for watching friends meet you all with another interesting video subscribe to amazon men's world channel stay tuned to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends please do also hit the bell icon to receive future notifications